Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make these tags uh, from scratch. So, and once you know how to make these things, you can also um, learn how to do this. Um, so, let's get started. Let's start by creating a new document. Go to File and click on New. Let's keep it 5 into 5 inches uh, CMYK because you're going to print and click Create. So you have your artboard ready and now you have to create the shape of a tag. For that, you head over to the Rectangle tool. If you don't have Rectangle right here, right click and click on Rectangle or you can even press the key keyboard for M. So once you have that, just click and drag. Doesn't matter. Um, we can adjust the uh, size uh, later. So now we go ahead and head over to transform. So if you cannot find there, all you have to do is go to window and click on transform. So I have it here. I'm just going to hit on it. And then I'm going to change the width to 1.5 inches and the height to 3.5 inches. So this height and um, width is something that I prefer. But if you think this is too small for you and if you want a bigger or a, a wider tag, you can always change the setting here. So, okay. So this is how a tag looks like. So um, I'm just going to change the size. Um, I think I'll make it 3.3 3 inches. Yep. Okay. That's fine. So now we have our rectangle ready, but we need uh, uh, to chop off these edges. Um, so how do you do that? So it's pretty simple. First, you go to view and then say rulers, show rulers. So once you have your rulers over here, try to arrange it. OK, it is centered. If it's not, go to transform again. X axis, make it two. So right now you can see it's centered uh, at 2 inches. Now the y-axis, um, this is, you might want this centered as well. So I'm going to put this at probably 2 point, um, how much did we keep this? We kept it at 3 inches, right? So 1.5 is the mid, uh, mid so midpoint. So I'm going to keep it at 1.5. Okay. The reason we do this is we have to introduce extra points here um, uh, from the edges and we need to make sure we're doing it at the right distance from the edge. So now uh, we're going to use something called as guidelines. You just head over to the ruler and click and drag. See, so you see that line coming in? That's a guideline. So I'm going to put this about two inches from the edge. Let me put it three inches from the edge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull one more out and put it three inches from the edge as well. Okay, so now we have two equal uh, slices on the edges. So now we're going to do the same thing and move from the top. We're going to put one, two, three. Again, three inches from the top. Okay, there you go. We are uh, basic tag ready, um, points ready. So now you have your guidelines all set. Now we're going to go and put extra points right here where the rectangle and the guidelines intersect everywhere. This, 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 and the one over here. Let me put this. Okay, close this off. Okay, so head over to the pen tool and you just have to right click and select add anchor point. So once you have that, check this point, click, check this point, click, check this point, click, and check this point and click. You just make sure. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have the four anchor points. So you need to delete this point and this point to get the tag shape. So head over to the pen tool, right click, delete anchor points, click, and click. So there you go. You have a basic tag shape right there. Now we just have to get rid of these guidelines. I'm going to go to select tool. Um, you guides clear guides okay there you go okay so our guides are gone so now is the time to actually um, put in your different vectors but before that you want to give a color to your tag I'm gonna move this to the end okay and I'm gonna hold this Press Option on your Mac or Alt on your Windows, click and drag. Make one more copy of it. So I'm going to color these tags. Uh, so the first one, um, I'm just going to go click on the border and say no border. I don't like borders. So in the fill section, um, you cannot put the RGB here. So I'm going to take the RGB and put in the value that I just copied. Okay, this is gonna be our tag one. And for this tag, um, it's still the same thing. One, copy the hex code and paste it here. So I'm gonna uh, paste all the hex codes that we used, press enter. Or down in the description box below so you can just take it from there for this one um let's brighten it up a little bit so again i go and uncheck the border for the fill i go and type in press enter Ooh, red so let me just arrange it so that there's space and the okay so we have our three uh, tag base ready now it's time to bring in the vectors from our vector pack so let's head over to my vector pack file I have it open here so yeah this is the one let's open it okay so we have vectors ready uh, we just have to pick some okay what do we pick oh let's try this I'm just gonna click on it I'm gonna say control C go back to my uh, space say control V drag it and put it in the corner so I'm gonna go ahead and next one I think I'll pick this I really love that and probably this one and this one I'm holding the shift key while selecting so that uh, multiple things get selected okay, this one as well try to move this okay control C and go back and paste it here with control V okay I don't want them so huge I'm gonna minimize the size I just have the shift key so that you know we talk about it a lot shift key okay so I'm just gonna arrange them and keep it up a little bit here this one needs to go down as well or not let's see I'm just gonna go and put it here This one, I'm going to make it white. Okay, then use the size. Okay, yeah. This sounds good. white uh -huh. you see what the problem was this one fill was selected and it was actually set to this and I didn't see that I have to change the stroke and not the fill so don't do the mistake that I did always check what is fill right here like is it the fill or the stroke so I'll click on stroke and say this okay 
So we're going to keep it simple in this tutorial, but you can go ahead and experiment and do however you like it. So let's just keep it very simple for now, but you can definitely go ahead and try other things. So this is going to be my first tag. So I'll show this on this one and then we can continue on the other two. So once you have the set, the design and the color, what you're going to do is click on the tag background, say Control C to copy and Control F to paste right on top of the original tag shape. Now what you have, you have two tag backgrounds and the design over the top. So we're going to bring that front. So right click, arrange, bring to front. So now your designs are sandwiched between two tag backgrounds. So what you're going to do is just select and drag everything in that first one. Right click and click on make clipping mask. So yeah, the tag number one is ready. But before that, we need to put a place to make a hole in that. So right click. Eclipse, hold your shift key down and bring it like this and click on the fill. Let's make it white and click and drag it on the top. Cancel. Okay. Okay, so we are set with that. Do you think it should be a little bigger? I think. Okay. Good. Now we need the similar things on this, but we're going to do it in the end. So let's move on to the next one. I'm going to select this. Okay, so we have the three tags ready. I just said, did some random design on that, which is like pretty simple. So I'm going to delete these two off. Okay, we're just going to copy these circles into on these two tags. Click on this, hold your Alt key down, click, and click on Shift and move. Okay, so there's a problem. We don't have our guides on, though it's not moving anywhere else. Like I'm doing this, but it's just sticking there because we have a shift key on. So what you have to do is, I'm just going to undo this. I need the guides. So we go to view, smart guides, click on it. So now you hold your alt key down or option, click, hold shift and move. So now you see the. So as you can see here in the bottom, this is the center. So you just let go of that. Change this color to white. It is white, but why can't you see it? Because it's in the background. We created it first before we created this. So right click, arrange, bring to front. So you do the same thing again. So click on option, click, hold shift, drag. And as soon as you know it's the center, release. Next step is adding text. Um, so let's begin. Let's check with the first one. Uh, we will put in probably happy holidays or happy new year. Okay, let's put on text. Text as here, text. Click here and let's type happy or let's say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Okay, so this is obviously not what you want. You can either do this, or once you click here, go check your select tool. And then this is selected, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Take a, I'm going to change the font size. Oh, that's too big. Make it 36. That's big too. 24. Oh, this is fine. Let's make it center. Put it here. Good enough. Make it white. Okay. This is one. The next one we're going to do to and from kind of a thing. So click on text, build it here, to and then from. Okay. This one, make sure it's not centered, it's left line because you know, you want it to. Okay. Let's make it white as well. I, I kind of like you know creating that negative feeling um, so you have to and throw but let's change the font shall we and let's make it red and um, Demi okay to and fro. So there you go, you have the tags ready and all you have to do is print them out. Um, but before you print it out, um, this is a 5 into 5 sheet. Your normal A4, your standard A4 sheet is at least 8 into, it is 8 into 11 inches. So you need to put this uh, so that you don't waste space on your printer paper. So what you can do is you can edit this artboard, like you can go to File, Document Setup edit out both and then you can drag this and make this eight no at least um, 10 inches you see that small dotted line moving up and down on the ruler part yeah so that helps you align it perfectly and on this side uh, move it to eight okay so you just have to click on the select tool after that so now you have a page and this is how your tag looks like on it. If you still feel that this is too tiny for you, what you can do is you can just click click on the tag. When you click on the tag, make sure you hold your shift key and click on the text as well. And then hold shift key and drag so that everything gets, you know, bigger kind. So you can arrange your tags in this page. Then you can go to file, export, export as give it something like ABC or something and then click JPEG down here export make sure it's CMYK make sure it's three at least 300 click OK now all you have to do is open the JPEG and the image send it to the printer and cut out the tags so this is how you create a holiday tag or a gift tag using the free vector pack. Thank you for watching.